Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another week here at ASC Kids Online. It's so great to have you all with us today and we've got loads of fun things planned um, to learn together from the Bible again today. But before we get started, let's pray to God and thank him that we can learn from his word today. So let's pray. One, two, three. Dear God, we thank you so much that we can read your word, the Bible, and we can learn from it together each week. We pray that you'd help us to listen well today to what the Bible says about who Jesus is and that you would help us to remember it for the rest of the week. Amen. Well, to get us started today and to get warmed up and get moving, we're going to do two things. First of all, we're going to sing a song together and then it's on to one of our all-time favourites, Jim with Jerry. You have no birthday, you have always been You alone have no beginning and no middle and no end You're always with me, you are everywhere In New Jersey or in Egypt, even outer space, you're there Everything you are and do is unbelievable but true God of woe, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, the exclamation points abound to the God of woe. You're never needy, how could you be? You made everything on earth and in the sky and the sea, you're never lonely, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, yet you're reaching out to me, inviting me to come to you, inconceivable but true. Exclamation points are bound to the God of Wow! I can't find the words that could be big enough, loud enough There could be no song that I could sing enough or shout enough When I want to praise your name but don't know how I just say, wow, amazing, how could this be? And I say, wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The God of wow, amazing, how could this be? You're the God of wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, exclamation points are bound to the God of wow. Good morning and welcome to another workout with Jim with Gary. Now, we've got a special story this week and it's all about food. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I've been eating a wee bit too much over the lockdown and when we eat a wee bit too much, we need to make sure that we're also exercising to burn all that. Now, the story starts, Jesus gets into a boat and goes away off just to be nice and quiet, but 
people follow them and they're all around us. So our first exercise is going to be the ab all around the world. So, I want you to get down. We want to sit. Try and get our legs up. Use your hands for support. And we're going to do as many circles as we can in 30 seconds. So let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. That's it. Try and make as many circles as you can within the 30 seconds. Halfway there. Five seconds to go. And there we are, and we're going to take a little break. Now, there were so many people, we're actually told there was 5,000 people. And Jesus told the disciples, well, we need to feed all these people because they came to hear me speak. And they can't just stay here and go hungry. But the disciples were like, goodness me, 5,000 people, how are we going to feed all them? So they just, they just didn't know what to do. And they got into a bit of a twist. Now, our next exercise is going to be the ab twist. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Keeping your feet out in front. We're going to twist from side to side. And we're going to touch each side. So, for 30 seconds, we're going to do our ab twists. That's it. Feet up in the air. And away we go. That's it. So keep twisting. You'll really feel this in your stomach. Ten more seconds. Now, the disciples came back to Jesus and they said, we don't have much food at all. In fact, we only have five loaves and two fish. Now, do you think five loaves and two fish was going to feed 5,000 people? Hmm, I'm not sure. But before we find out, we're going to have to do our next exercise. Now, our next exercise is going to be our bread burpees. We've done these before, so we should know what to do. 30 seconds on the clock, remember, we get down, jump up, and we're going to switch sides. So, let's get ready to go. Our bread burpees for 30 seconds. 3, 2, 1, go. And that's one. Now, goodness, if we ate a lot of bread, we need to be certainly working out. We're told we had five loaves and we also had two fish. Now, before we find out if it actually did feed everybody, we're going to have to do our fish brother kicks. Because if you see a fish in water, they're able to swim just like this, but when we're in water, we have to move our legs. So, Gonna get down, legs like this, and we're just gonna kick our legs. 30 seconds, remember? So let's get ready to go. Don't want our legs too high, don't want them too low. 30 seconds, fish is on our legs. 3, 2, 1. That's it. We're certainly working off a lot of calories. We will have a big Sunday dinner after this. And 10 seconds. And there we are. So it turns out that actually the five loaves and two fish, it just didn't feed them. It was in fact too much. And we're going to finish with 12 dips. Now we're going to do 12 because we're told in the story that actually there's so much food that they were able to fill 12 baskets full of the bread and fish. So, grab yourself a chair, or you can do these in the end of your sofa. We are going to do 12 dips to finish. Arms behind us. 
on our sofa or our chair, feet out in front, and we're back and down like that. So let's do 12, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So that's all for this week with Jim with Jerry. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all next well, I wonder if you have ever been on a picnic. I love going on picnics. And so today I've got two picnic baskets with me. One packed full of my favorite things to bring on a picnic and one to help us get ready for our story today. So first of all, I thought I'd show you what's inside my picnic basket, what I would pack and what I would bring if I was going on a picnic with my family and friends. So let's have a look and see what's inside. So first of all, we've got a nice cold drink of water, very important. And then the first thing I might eat if I was on a picnic might be a sandwich or a ham and cheese roll. Next up, very importantly, I've got with me my fruit. So maybe a banana and some nice grapes. And then on to the treats, because it's always nice to have a treat whenever you're on a picnic. Next up, I've got some crisps. And if I'm very lucky, a nice, whoop, tasty chocolate bar. But in our story today, we're going to see what the person had for a picnic. And this picnic was a little bit different than what we might expect. Because this picnic was huge. It wasn't just a small group of friends or a family. There were 5,000 people at this picnic and would you believe it only one little boy remembered to bring anything to eat now would you like to see what he brought let's have a look at the little boy's picnic basket and see what he brought for his lunch so first of all he brought some loaves let's count how many he's got one two three, four, five little loaves. That seems quite a nice thing to eat. But next of all, he had one, oh, two fish. He brought five loaves and two fish to eat for his lunch. Now I don't know about you but I think I prefer my picnic to this one but that's what he brought to eat. Five little loaves and two fish and that seems like quite a lot for one person to eat but it certainly wasn't enough for five thousand people to eat. But lucky enough boys and girls there was someone very special present for this picnic and that was Jesus. And Jesus was going to make sure that nobody went hungry at all on this picnic. So next up, we're going to hear our story and find out what happened on that very special lunchtime. Stories of the Bible. Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus. hey Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone! A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. A crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Hey, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up, 
There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down. Bye, everyone. Sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. There you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. You got it. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Well, in our story today, we saw Jesus do something that was truly amazing. We saw him do something that only God can do. And that's because Jesus is God. And whenever he does his miracles, he shows us who he really is. And so boys and girls, as we think about our story today, we want to remember that Jesus can do these wonderful things because he is God. Now to help us remember our story and to think a little bit more about who Jesus is, we've got a couple of really special activities coming up. So first of all, we're going to sing a song together and then Jess has got a really fun, very special activity planned for you to do along at home. Our God is a great big God. this morning. Now, I am surrounded by clues today and I wonder if you can work out what we're going to be doing. I've got a wooden spoon, some oven gloves, a mixing bowl 
and different ingredients beside me. What do you think we might be doing? That's right, we're having a go at some baking. And don't worry, you might not be able to do it right now, but you can come back to our video and have a go at it anytime this week. Now, I thought we could try to make some of Mary Berry's biscuits because you only need three ingredients. So before you get your ingredients, can you please go and wash your hands? The most important thing before we start baking. The first ingredient that we're going to need is 100 grams of butter. Then 50 grams of caster sugar and 150 grams of self-raising flour. Set this here so you can see it. Okay, once you've got your ingredients, bring them all together and measure them using your scales. I've got Chef Ricardo here to help me this morning and he is going to show you what to do. And boys and girls, it's his first time, so we might need to give him some tips and help him along the way. First, you need to ask an adult to preheat your oven to 180 degrees. And now Chef Ricardo is going to show us how to get our baking tray red. I got some butter and some grease proof paper and put it onto my baking tray here to ensure that my fishes didn't stick. Brilliant. Okay, now that you have all of your ingredients, we're going to start by softening the butter. Great. Just going to mix it round in our bowl and get it nice and softened up. Just give it a little beat against the side. Easy. Well, easy-ish. Actually, it's quite cool. There we go. Brilliant. That didn't take too long. Make sure you've got no big chunks left. Voila. Like so. Brilliant. Now you can gradually add the sugar. Okay, so here's our sugar and we're just going to keep stirring and put a wee bit in, like so. Stir that up. Slowly add the flour, make sure it's all off the sides. Okay, so we'll get it all nice and neatened up here. I need to get your parent helper to assist in this bit. I might need that to help me too. Okay, and we're going to add in our flour nice and gradually again. Do a wee bit there. Oops, so that's not too much. And just drag it in. A little bit by little bit. Very good. Stir. That's looking good now. And repeat. Could add the rest now. Get the rest in here. There 
get a peek. Get it under your arm. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Cut. And now we're going to start kneading it together with our hands and making it into a nice big ball. Super. And now for the fun part, we're going to break our big ball up into little pieces and we're going to try and make ours look like fish and loaves. Okie dokie. So we're going to get them and we're going to make them into the shape of little fish and you might want to get your adult helper just to help you perfect the shape here. Something like so. Looks brilliant. Thank Let's you. see. Okay, so we've got our fish here, and I'm just finishing off making our loaves. And we just do that by rolling up little pieces of dough into the desired shape and setting them on here, like so. And now, for the Chef Ricardo finishing touch, we're going to take our fork, dip it in some water, shake it off like that, and just add a little bit of pattern to the bread and some scales to the fish. Voila. Super, and now our biscuits are ready for the oven. And you can ask an adult to help you and the biscuits need to go into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until they're a pale golden color. Enjoy. When your biscuits are ready, you can ask an adult to take them out of the oven and move them onto a cooling rack. And you can see that I've added some eyes and I've used some color writing icing. So if you have any icing, you could decorate your biscuits. And I've chosen five loaves and two fish. As a reminder of the story in the Bible, where Jesus feeds the 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. Isn't that amazing? And Jesus can do what only God can do because Jesus is God. Have you heard about Jesus? He's the Son of God who died for us Though we weren't worthy Deserving He came to die upon a cross All the prophets witness to forgiveness in him And they wrote it down so we know Everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness Sins to his name at 1643. Hey, in his name, God forgives all our sin because Jesus lives not by works, not by law. Our forgiveness comes through the cross. Thanks be to God who rescued his people from the curse of sin. Now we Okay. 
had a really busy morning here at ASC Kids today. We've sang some songs, we've done gym with Jerry, we've been on a picnic and heard our story, and we've even done some baking with Jess and sang our memory verse again. And now our time's nearly up. But before we finish, there's one big thing that I want you to remember for today. I really want you to remember who Jesus is. And the miracle that he did today in our story where he fed all of those people shows us that Jesus is God. And that's an amazing thing to remember. So let's finish our time together by praying today and thanking God for sending Jesus so that we can know him. One, two, three. Dear God, we thank you so much for sending Jesus to earth so that we can know you. We thank you that Jesus is God and that he can do these amazing miracles because of who he is. We pray that you would help us to remember that this week um, in whatever we're doing. Amen. Well, it's been great to have you with us today, boys and girls. We hope you've had loads of fun and enjoy baking and doing your activity for today. And we'll see you all next time.